It's playoffs time in the Belgian Pro League. The top six facing off in the title playoffs with half the points from the regular season carried over. The essential was opening up with a three-point advantage over Anderlecht. The Morves get the title playoffs underway at home to champions Royal Antwerp. The Bruges derby will be spicy. And leaders Union go to sixth place Genk, who squeezed in on the last day of the regular season. In the European playoffs, vanquished Ghent entertain Standard Liège. Mechelen again go to Leuven as they did a fortnight ago. And it's Centroden against Westerlo, who dismissed Richter Mill in the aftermath of the sedate ending to their one-all draw with Genk a fortnight ago. But the battle of the top takes priority. It's to Brussels first. It's the most exciting time of the season in Belgium. It's playoffs time. The top six breaking clear and facing off for the title between themselves. We start with the most successful club ever in this country against the reigning champions from Lotto Park. Park Astrid, it's Anderlecht against Royal Antwerp. Jakob and Dreyka. Brilliant ball played forward, no penalty, says Jasper for go straight away. He had an eye on it. Anto hoping to get within three points of Anderlecht tonight, and Janssen trying to provide a bit of that. Took a deflection along the way. Oh, so up for Mats Ritz here, just over the top. A great opening for a man who's won three of the last four league titles. No free kick this time. Weindahl coming away with it. Always happens. Oh, and, well, down has gone Hazard. He wasn't happy about the original challenge. Somebody coming off the bench. I don't think there was a massive amount of contact. Hazard is claiming there is. A few things for Jasper Vigo to consider here. So a few words with Weindahl. Oh! It's red for Weindahl. He has been sent off. Rebounds and Butte will claim. Dolberg was right there in front of him. Dreyer, good hit. Butte equal to it. More clean sheets than anyone else this season, Sean Butte. Sanella leading the charge, and Antwerp completely caught out. Now here comes Inna van den Bosch. It's good ball in the centre, and almost diverted in by Michel Osbalakwish, a fine save by Schmeichel. Fantastic handling. Edge of the area, Dreyer is in! Almost a second. Strakens building again so wonderfully. Dreyer met it well, brilliant save by Butte. Fell for Leone on the rebound, here's Hazard. Augustinsen, another brilliant save. And cleared off the line to deny outside, somehow, by Toby Alderweireld. Miraculous defending on Easter weekend. Azad's it again. And Butte's kept it out. How's it still 1-0? That was a real onslaught.
Here comes Dreyer. And it's in the centre for Amuzu. He's gone down. Penalty. Seven minutes to go, and Anderlecht can wrap it up now. Boutte in with him, and Boutte in trouble. It will not be a penalty. Delaney, good ball down the middle, brilliant ball, chance for Dreyer to wrap it up. Vasquez, Dreyer remaining in support. They're claiming handball and Jasper Magot says no. It's already awarded one penalty to them today. Five minutes are up. And Anderlecht are up. Alongside Union at the top of the table. The playoffs are up and running for Brian Remack. Killian Sadella's first ever first team goal for Anderlecht since making his debut against Mechelen in 2019. Easter Monday action from the Belgian Pro League title playoffs and for the first time a Bruges derby in the playoffs. Circle enjoying their best season in 16 years, hosting housemates club for whom fourth place in the regular season is not good enough. So it's a fifth change of coach in 21 months. From the Jan Bridal, it's the Bruges derby. Circle against club. Here comes Denke on the way, it's Kevin Denke! Good save, Yakuz, scrambled away! Right in front of goal, Odonis rescuing in the end. Will be sent in by Mihao Skourash, deep one. It was a great one to the back post and Odonis over the top. Set up for him by Thiago. Here comes Noosa. Noosa! Good try, Wallace in the way, brilliant stop. And Antonio Noosa bursting through, making good on his growing stature. Here's Meyer. And Vatlayson deflected. It's a corner. They've had more teenage players club in the first team than anyone else this season. Meckler's not one of them, and certainly Adoy is neither. They've got plenty forward here. Loads in, and it's 1 0. Denki's ready to touch it over the line. Sack Bruges lead the derby. Just as they did last time. A 45-yard run from Alan Minda last time. On this occasion, it was just about half a foot. Thiago trying to get it in the centre. Hits open up for Noosa! What a finish! Antonio Noosa, 1-1. The boy has brilliance! And Club Bruges have their level at... It's offside, no goal! 1-0 circle again! It's a great ball played forward, and suddenly it's opened up here. Noosa, good save. Noosa again. He's hit the post. Skourash. No. Off the line by Ravic. Astonishing. Sackler survived three times over. Club really determined at the start of their second half. Skourash didn't get far with it.
Little nod forward by Thiago. Brilliant ball. Antonio Nusa again. He makes things happen. Van Aken, Thiago, Nusa! Brilliant save and it's off the post again. Wallison's kept it out. He's recovered brilliantly. And twice in as many minutes, Antonio Nusa hits the post. Benaken trying to tie it up. Just had to stretch it and over the top. Well, they got that going quickly. That's given us handball. A big opening for Club Bruges to drag themselves back into the game. Club Bruges have had 13 penalties this campaign. They do not have a 14th. Outside. Van Aken, what a belter! And for the third time in this half, they've hit the woodwork. Saba. Very good cross. Scov Olsen's won it back, though. That was a little bit shabby. It was lost by Abu Francis. Jukla cut inside. Great save, Wallison. Strong save, Wallison. Scov Olsen. Back again for Maxim de Kuyper. Jukla. Scov Olsen! Club Rouge 11. Eight minutes to go. Andreas Scov Olsen's done it. And they have their opening back into the game. And now all they can do is hope. Nielsen, good cross. Tiago! He was up there. He was ready to win the game. Yes, but Darlin there too. Scov Olsen. Oh, great chance. What a save, Wallison. Magnificent save. Nielsen can't believe it. I'm not sure anyone else can. There is no winner again in the Bruce Derby. Four draws in a row between Sackler and Club for the first time in history. Sackler so close to third spot in the league. Club get it instead. They felt there should have been even more time added on. But we had almost six minutes in the end from Eric Lambrex. No time to take the throw. Time to join the Belgian Pro League leaders in their bid to make a third time lucky through these title playoffs. Twice in a row they've come close, and this season may be the year it finally comes together. Their opponents today squeezing through in the final night of the regular season from the Segeco Arena. It's Racing Genk against Union saint Watts. Puertas to take. Went for a low one this time, and it almost paid off brilliantly. Absolutely nobody picked out Noah Zaniki. What a corner, he stepped back. That was definitely a training ground move. Tolu's got the pace. Brilliant save by Morris. Shutting out the Nigerian striker one on one. Rosowski long, Tolu on the chase. He's going to get there too. 
It's Tallo! He won the foot race! It seemed impossible! He wasn't! Hank Hank lead! Rosowski over the top! Tallo had a huge amount to do, it looked like it was bouncing past him! Tolu went for it again, and a right tail hurt, and over the top by Joris Kayembe! Oh, what a chance for two, right on the half hour. And that would have given Union a huge mountain to climb. Good burst forward, Castro Montes and Nielsen ready to pounce. Away by Mark McKenzie. John Thierry Lazar again. That was a bouncer, Siddiqui won it. Now here's Puertas, options open. Puertas went himself! What a brilliant try by Cameron Puertas. Long free kick by Puertas, and he found Eckert. Too much in the header. Rasmussen. Here comes Puertas. Sadiq in front. Little chip was clever. Lapuzan in. Angle tight. Just couldn't quite get the finish in. Nielsen's in. Didn't get a lot behind it. Low and straight at Van der Vert. And Nielsen, who scored in his first two internationals for Sweden last week. Great opening, first real opening he's had. Sadiq coming across. Deep one, Tolo got his head onto it. Tangled effort. Opening for Jean Thierry Lazar, but couldn't find a way through, not from there. Rosowski curling, Maurice coming, strongly punching. But there's a rebound to match. A brilliant belter from a long way out from Alia Federa. Here's Jean Thierry Lazar. Poked it up neatly. Castro Montes in. Alessio Castro Montes. Across goal. Somehow. Puertas. Good ball out wide. Alessio Castro Montes. Skipped along well. Alessio Castro Montes still going. And straight at Vandervert. Tolu, now it is an Union ball. And Burgess took the throw, and it was straight at Tolu, and it's red for Burgess. He's been sent off, throwing the ball at an opponent. He'll say he was trying to take the throw. Nicola Laforge is saying something else. to beat Union on the 16th of September. And their next loss comes on April Fool's Day.
Gaines missing out in the title playoffs on the final day, hitting Charleroi for five, but edged out by Circle of Bruce and Racing Gang, with whom they were level on points. A rebuilding exercise needed for the Buffaloes in the summer, but first, still a chance to make it to Europe. Gaines start top on 24 points, standard in fourth on 17, after winning only three of the last 16 league games. Archie Brown has developed brilliantly against his pass Kawabe. Gandelman with the header, he knows the way to goal, having scored four last time. Gandelman fouled. Desar taking it quickly, he's got it into Fernandez. Pardo, lovely try! Two goals in two games for the 18-year-old! Matias Fernandez Pardo has got his career off to a flyer. Julian Desar with a quick free kick, and Fernandez Pardo with a very quick finish. Decent ball in. First time of asking. Kanga, good save. And Kawabe, and it's in. It's gone in off Julian Desar. Standard were only behind for five minutes. Fell well for Kanga, and then it just bounces up and in, and they saw it. Couldn't keep it out. Ruff was a beaten man. Oh, that's unlucky. Standard on terms, and now they want to take the lead. Kanga, nice ball back. William Balakwisha, good chance, good save, Ruff. Did a good job in keeping it out. Ganga's back hill and Balakwisha almost netting. Mullen Fossey on the overlap. Short by Kawabe and Fossey hits the post. What openings for Standard Liege right at the end of this first half. Gineppo wide on the rebound. What a strike by Fossey, a lovely one too with Kawabe and plum off the post. 1 1 half time. Brown. Decent support, short by Tissadali and Gandelman. He's done it again. Five goals in two games. It's his best ever scoring season. Nine this campaign, seven in the league. Well, he's turning into a good gold machine, isn't he? Nice layoff by Tissadali. 2 1. Peter Gherkin's looking for things to move on. He is now on. Intervened well. Tissadali on the way. Off the post, and Gherkin's, and Gherkin's, and he scored! With his first touch, 3-1. And that might just wrap it up. Daniel Milicevic on the touchline in place of the Suspended Ein van Iserug tonight, and what a great change. It's in the right place to turn home the rebound, second time of asking. Having originally been blocked, nice chance off the post by Tissadali. He deserves a goal. Gherkins with the corner. Candice with the header, and it's four. Ten minutes to go, and Genter on the way to victory. And they will stay top of the European playoffs for sure. And in the end, it was so simple. Standard are being absolutely tormented. To Sidali, it's five. What a very good setup by Sude. And that's the end of that. Just about onside. Good ball pulled through, and what a fine finish by Tissadali. His 17th of the season now, and 11 of those in the league. 5-1. A resounding victory for Daniel Milicevic and Kent. Five goal hauls for them in back-to-back -back games against Charleroi 
And now Standard Liège, a season of what might have been, but they can still qualify for Europe. As for Ivan Leko, his job even more uphill. Ten points behind the Buffaloes, Gen 5, Standard 1. Heroic some love and on the final night of the regular season, a 1-0 win over Mecklen to stay up and deny the Molinois a spot in the title playoffs. And now straight away in the European playoffs, they face off again. Nacho Insigne with the famous goal for Oscar Garcia's OHL. Mecklen owe him one, so does Besnikasi. It'll be Fluka with the corner. Pressure good early on from Mecklen and a goal! Elias Cobout! The little back flick was perfect. His first goal back in Belgium since signing from Parma. His first goal in two years. Lyson came and missed it. Fluka's corner turned out well by Cobout. First of the season. Keeping the pressure up brilliantly. And a fine header. Slimani there, Lyson keeping it out. Almost another, ten minutes played. Maziz gave it away. Beset. Islam Slimani's in. Decent stop by Turbo Lyson. Still awaiting his first goal for Mechlin Islamani. Almost came there through one on one. Now at an angle, good save. Love and coming good now. Miguel! Just too high. Mecklen can certainly keep up with Gen to the top with a win tonight. It started well for them. Scarves, oh, what a chance! Beset in the middle and Lyson denying it. Decent move that, it opened up well on the right hand side and Bassett almost turning in. 1 0 at half time, Cobout's goal. So far, so good. Dug out well. Slavani forward. Fulon's done brilliantly. Dan Fulon, he's on the way. What a lovely goal! Dan Fulon makes it two. His third goal of the season, none of them have been ordinary, and that certainly wasn't. His first touch coming in his own half, and away he went. A lovely touch to bring it away, and fine composure. He brought Toby Lyson out, and planted home a lovely finish. What a fine goal. Just that chance before half time for Lovin, realistically. Matthew Mertens! Good chance from long range. Lovely control and not very far away. Torsteinsen off the bench, causing trouble. And Makoto. And Maziz, it's in! 17 minutes to go, and Love and are back in the game. 2-1 down. Just stolen round the back, past Fluka. Touched in past Geitenkuk. Sixth of the season, five in the league, nice from Aziz. Islam Slomani will be replaced by Nicholas Storm. He's taking his time about it. And uh, he's got a second yellow card here. Referee Kevin Van Damme, because he was going in the wrong direction, gets his second yellow, he's been sent off, and that actually does reduce them to 10. He hadn't left the pitch. Torsteinsen. Martins down the left-hand side, and a poke! It's 2-2! Lavin have done it again in the death! 
in the sixth minute of stoppage time. Lavin have equalised. It's another injury time killer for Mechelen. At Dendreef, a lovely flick. How about that for a finish? And that must be a point for Lavin now. Brilliant corner. It's scrambled home. Lysons missed it. Mori Kanate's won it. Love and Romy level for 80 seconds. Mori Kanate's first goal since signing from St. Troden, and that is the winner. It has to be the winner. 97th minute, and it's there. They can only launch it forward. Last gas for Lovin to try and get a level out. And Mercedes! It's saved by Kuka. What an extraordinary end to the game. And Johan Mercedes almost gets another with the last kick. Mechelen get their revenge for a fortnight ago. They get their win. But they'd have much rather won the last game to get them into the title playoffs. Late drama again between these two. But this time in Mechelen's favour. Only one loss in 11, five wins out of six. Besnik Hasi's men go a point behind Ghent at the top of the Euro playoffs. Love and a bottom. Love and two, Mechelen three. St. Trudin finishing ninth in the regular season, West low 11th, Easter Sunday fair at the Stein. 2 1 win on the final day ever Club Bruges for the Canaries, seeing Ronnie Tyler dismissed the following morning. Westlow staying up by virtue of their one-all draw with Genk controversially. Stoker is making ground and scoring. Only six minutes in, and Jana Stoker has put St. Troden ahead. Torsten Fink's side hit the front straight away. Their first attempt of the game. Stoker's with it, a massive deflection of Haspelat and Tajir. And it's his sixth goal of the season, five in the league. one nothing. Jana Stoker's. A bad start for Bart Gore. The replacement for Rick DeMille sacked in the aftermath of Westlow and Genk downing tools for the final minutes of their game. Bettachini, good save by Gillikens. Palmed away, decent stop. Delorge winning it in the middle. It's opening up in front of Delorge too. Good stop, Gillikens. He's had to pull off a few in this first half. Westlow under a considerable amount of pressure. St. Troden starting third in the table, and Bertaccini again, and Gillikin saving again. Decent save, a string of them. Haspelat is over the free kick. away by Suzuki and just over the top to Gia. What a great opportunity for Westerlo to be level. Suzuki spilling it. And to hitting it right over the top. Just about holding on. What else should he be doing on an Easter Sunday? Ito receiving the throw. Massive giveaway. Side of Manish suddenly. Good save by Sion Suzuki. And the Iran international side of Manesh. Great chance, really gifted to him by Ryotaro Ito. Long range try, and he almost scored from it. That would have been a massive Easter gift. Changes on the way for Westerlo. Rami of Vermont coming off to be replaced by Lucas Stassen. 18 minutes remaining. Vermont's game coming to a close. And Boris on as well. And Vermont is not a happy boy at all. That's something else for Barkor to deal with. Deep corner by Stoikers. Good save by Gillikens, met by Smets. That would have probably wrapped it up with 10 to go. 
Gilkins on the end of it. Looking good for St. Trudon. Be four points between the top three in the European playoffs if they make this work. Vegito and Yamamoto. Angle tight, almost in. Kaya not quite arriving on time. Pull across goal well by Yamamoto. What a nice build up this was. Vegeta sending Yamamoto away in the left. The Japanese combination working again and almost scoring. Angle was tight and Kaya so close to turning home. Still 1 0. Kaya on the chase. Cut out well. Smets and Yamamoto now. Lovely play. Plenty of options open. Stoikers gets his second. The Canary second to. Seven minutes to go, and that should do it. Seven goals this season now for Jana Stoikers. Six in the league. And St. Troden. Tightening the gap on Ghent and Mechelen. And they've put Westerlo to bed here very effectively. Nice finish. Jana Stoikers making sure he scored at the start and now at the finish. So Trodin are in the hunt straight away. Their third, four points behind Ghent, and immediately the middle playoff series is taking shape. Stikers with both goals. The Canarias can still make a really good go of these European playoffs. Centrodon 2, West Lonell. Anderlecht with their seventh win in eight games, edging out champions Royal Antwerp. The Bruges derby finishes level for a fourth successive time, and the playoffs strike again for Union, falling 1-0 at Genk. In the European playoffs, Ghent, Mechelen and St. Troden take control with wins over Standard Liège, Oud Heavily, Leuven and Westerlo. Uni saint Gilles stay top by virtue of finishing above Anderlecht in the regular season. The half points rule coming into play as well. But the lead that was seven points at the end of the regular season at week 30 is now completely gone by week 31. That's the playoffs for you. Without Ronnie Dyler, Club Bruges return to third above Genk, Antwerp and Circle Bruges. In the European playoffs, the top three all winning and have the upper hand. Ghent a point clear of Mechelen, with St. Troden a further three points back. No relegation playoff action until next week. Charlotte will start five points clear of the rest. The bottom two go down, third from bottom will be in the promotion relegation playoff. Back into the title playoffs next week with Antwerp Genk on Saturday night. Union hosts Circles Sunday lunchtime with Anderlecht going to club Sunday night aiming for top spot. In the Euro playoffs, it'll be Mechelen, St. Troden, Standard Leuven and West Low Ghent. And the relegation playoffs see Rick de Mills, Charleroi, host Yannick Ferreira's or WDM and Eupen entertain Kortrijk. Until then, from Will Downing and the Pro League team in Brussels, enjoy your football.